There are three certainties in life. Death, taxes, and that humans love to blow things up. And so we have the whole industry of rocketry. First of all, I have a pet peeve. Whenever anyone describes anything, they're like, oh, it's not that hard. It's not rocket science, implying that rocket science is hard. And I think that mentally limits themselves because they're like, I couldn't do rocket science. But honestly, I think rocket science is so doable. You can do anything you set your mind to, including rocket science. My goal is by the end of this video, you will understand the basics of rocketry and be able to participate in any conversation colloquially about rockets and rocketry. So hopefully by the end, you will become a rocket novice. Building model rockets is how a lot of really phenomenal NASA and aerospace engineers get started. Personally, I guess I really care about it. Why I wanted to spend my time launching a rocket was because all I want in my life is to be a really legendary inventor. But the issue is that I have never invented anything before and that gives me stress because how do I know that I can one day make a tool to help people if I have never in the past made any tools or inventions. And so in order to quell my fears, I figure I just have to never give up and just keep learning. And so I joined my school's rocketry club. They taught us how to build and launch these amateur rockets. Is this what's used in guns and stuff? That's used in like terrorist attacks. <laughs> That's awkward. <laughs> Today, I will show you the process of building and putting explosive motors in these things and sending them up 3,700 feet. And I will do a Rockets 101 so you understand the basics. Honestly, I had a lot of fun. The people are hilarious. Welcome to Rockets 101, another episode of Ananya Teaches You Things She Might Not Be Qualified to Explain. I think the biggest misconception about rockets is that if I'm sending a rocket to the moon, most people think that the rocket just goes up. And that's wrong. Rockets don't just go up. Let me explain. Let's say I'm throwing a banana. If I throw this banana, or, uh, let's say I'm throwing my water bottle. If I throw it a little bit, it might end up right there. If I throw it faster, it might end up a meter over there. If I throw my water bottle really fast, it might end up a thousand meters over there. And because the earth is round, if I throw my water bottle so fast, it might just go all the way around and almost come back. Do that again. And if I throw it so, so freaking fast, it'll go all the way around and it'll try and fall down, but it'll just miss the earth every single time. It's an orbit, just like the moon. It's always falling, but never falls down. And so if you want to send something out of Earth's orbit and send it to Mars or to the moon, you have to be able to go faster than that fast throw I did called escape velocity. You need to go so fast that you're going to throw the water bottle, except it would fall past Earth. If it falls like past Earth, then it escapes Earth's orbit. In order for rockets to leave Earth, they don't have to go up. They have to go fast. How do model rockets relate to big real rockets? In rocketry, there's a few certifications. You can get your L1, L2, L3 certification. This is for an L1 rocket. So you launch it, you get your certification, then you can go an L2, which is a bigger, huger rocket, and L3, which is an even bigger, bigger motor, bigger explosive rocket. There are a few different kinds of rockets. We have solid rockets, which is what the L1 is. If you noticed, the motor was essentially an explosive gunpowder. I think a little more of that. Probably a little more. Yeah. Maybe a tiny more. <laughs> Better too much too little. Yeah, right? You've got powder on your hands. I do. I'm straight from the cold head. <laughs> 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 do you think you could start a boom? No. <laughs> <laughs> So it's a solid, but sometimes there are liquid rockets where the fuel is a liquid. Then there are hybrid rockets where the fuel is a mix of liquid and solids. Uh, liquid rockets are much more complex and harder to deal with, but they do go higher. Uh, Google search tells me that SpaceX uses kerosene and liquid oxygen as rocket propellants for their Falcon 1, Falcon 9, and Falcon Heavy launch vehicles. The liquids combine, combust, generate an explosion in the combustion chamber and send that downwash down through the bottom nozzle that can be directed to determine which way the rocket should go. Go. You can steer the rocket like that. Now let's go into building and launching this thing. Wow, what a nice rocket, you guys. <laughs> Just kidding. If I had to summarize the core of building a rocket, I would say the main thing to keep in mind is stability. If you have a model rocket or even a big starship. This is an unstable rocket. It could probably take your head off. So when you're doing the rocket building process, you do these simulations with the surface area and weight and components of your rocket to make sure that it is stable. 
If the center of gravity, which is the place that your rocket balances, is above the center of pressure, which is like the average surface area point, then your rocket is stable. If you accidentally make your center of pressure above your center of gravity, wear a helmet, watch your head, sign your will, probably not gonna turn out very well. Then you epoxy, screw in, and put all the parts together. <laughs> <laughs> I kind of feel like a kid at summer camp. It smells like something's burning. The epoxy? No, it's like, I just smell like something's burning. I think that's a small deal box. Oh, it is. Why? Yes, after. This is our tutorial we got about our motors, which are the explosives called H550s. So the letter is basically like an impulse class. 550 is the average thrust of this uh, this motor in newtons. You're also going to look below the motor specifications. It's going to say burn time is like 0.6 seconds. So it's going to be a really quick rocket off the pad. This says a delay time of 14 seconds max. So that delay time is the time between motor ignition and the ejection charge. So at the top of these motors, there's a black powder charge that will explode that will send out your recovery, your parachutes. Is that right? Yeah. That goes in. Uh, Face down. Yes? Yep. Yeah. The final main thing is your parachute. You want to make sure that the knot that keeps your parachute attached to your rocket is super strong. Dude, it's just not moving because of my foot. <laughs> no, it's because of my foot. See? <laughs> Point. <laughs> to make sure that it will never fall apart. Use this knot that's like a positive feedback. And this is Matthew, the legend of rocketry himself, talking about this. All right. Recording? <laughs> yeah. What's up, guys? Welcome back to the show. So this is for the uh, parachute cord being attached in the rocket. So we're going to tie the Bolin knot. The little rhyme that we teach everybody, well, that I teach everybody. The rabbit comes out of the hole. It runs around the tree. And it goes back into the hole. Oh, that's so good. Easy peasy. We just pull everything tight. And this knot can withstand all the force that's given by the parachute. Exactly, right? And that's a huge amount that's of force. That's a huge amount of force. We teach this knot in sailing. Oh, so do you sail? Like, yeah. Flying and sailing? That's what right. a man of many. Right. No, basically James Bond. Okay. Life jacket here, no helicopter. Motorcycle? Helicopter rig, yes, motorcycle. Oh, me too. Good, good. Anyway, we no tell them it looks like a little uh, life jacket. And so it's a self-tightening knot. Day. Having fun on our launch day. Having fun on our launch day. Hi guys, it's the morning of the launch. The issue is that it's an absolutely heinous 5.30 a.m. No one should be legally allowed to wake up so early for any sort of organized activity. Are you kidding me? I went to bed two hours ago. When we got to the launch site, I was terrified because what happens is you're constantly having rockets launch. The main thing is like with these model rockets, the parachutes deploy and they come slowly to the ground. But sometimes the parachutes don't deploy because people mess up their rockets. And then what you have is essentially a very accelerating pointy heavy object tunneling towards the ground at extremely fast velocities. If you are beside or underneath that death spiral path, it would totally impale you and you would sleep forever. And I did not want to delete myself on that day. It's kind of like a missile lottery. <laughs> I mean, there's someone like me. It's a very uh, oh, I just so really you wearing a helmet. <laughs> wearing a helmet makes you be like, that man's smart. Why are you not wearing a helmet? You're not gonna get hit by a helmet. I think you're not gonna get hit by a helmet. You can't make any promises like that. No. But eventually, I just accepted fate. If that was my day to go, that was my day to go. Hey, hello. Excited? Yeah, the rocket's so red and cool. Thank you. I called it Crypto Crash. <laughs> well, this one's the Vomit Comet. Crypto Crash, is there a specific currency you're modeling off of? The rocket launch begins when there's an electric impulse that sets off the explosion of the motor. And so here I'm wiring up my motor, connecting it to the electrical wires. What do you think? Like just a but how is that possible? Because our rocket went over there. Is that mine? I went through it back. That
I'm gonna be honest, now is the most annoying part of the process. The rocket went up, it launched, and we had to find it. We essentially walked for two hours to find our rocket and we still could not find it. We walked so far and there's like infinite directions you could go. I heard that some people had been searching for their rockets for two days. Honestly, I, I just felt like tired. Thankfully, eventually we ran into Charlie and Vincent. Turns out Charlie and Vincent had been sprinting and they had run probably 4X the distance that we had walked and they had found our rocket along their path. So they picked it up for us. <laughs> I hope you learned something new about rockets today. I love you guys so much. Never give up on your dreams and I will see you in the next one.